All right, Jack. Here we are coming towards the end of uh, day one of the let's see, Junior High OAC event. Tell me, uh, how's the day been going for you? It's been good, very good. I'm really surprised at the level of wrestling here. Uh -huh. It's been nice. So, how long have you been uh, officiating for OAC? Seven years. Nice. Seven years. So, I'm sure you get out and see other turns, but in my opinion, the OAC runs some of the best, the best events out there in the wrestling world. Do you, oh, they do, and, you know, and, the, and uh, from the hospitality, bringing you in, putting you up in the hotels, the treatment that they give all of us is just top notch, and uh, really respect what the uh, guys of the OAC do for us and for the sport of wrestling. They're just incredible. Nice. What have you seen in terms of uh, growth over the seven years, or kind of like the evolution of, of this event? Uh, it's uh, everything's gotten just a little bit smoother. They're working out the little wrinkles, the fine points that kind of bottleneck. So weigh-ins have gotten a lot better. Um, you know, the flow of wrestling during the day has gotten better. Getting people out of here and taking care of everybody, having enough people to rotate through, and just giving people the proper breaks has really evolved and become uh, much more fluid. So everybody stays fresh and can give the best all day long. Yeah, like like uh, we were talking just a second ago and. I believe, you know, being an official is, is a tough job. It's physical, you're in a hostile environment, and so I'm always curious how you can do it all day. Now you told me, here you're half hour on, half hour off, so it kind of supports being able to be sharp all day, but you were just saying you were at an event recently where you did four duels in a row. Yeah, that like, was... And that's just the reality, I guess, sometimes. How do you prepare for that? And then how do you stay, like, mentally sharp when you're in a position where you have to do that? Uh, mentally is not the problem. For me, I'm a big guy. The physical part, the being fresh physically, getting up and down is the most difficult part for me. Uh, but even on a day like that, you just have to take those micro breaks. Go get a drink of water in between each duel or each match. Get a drink of water, wipe your face, get fresh for each match. And that helps a lot. Have you ever like worn like a Fitbit or something to see how many steps, like how how many miles or something that you go? During? I have. Uh, two years ago, I wore one here. I did forty thousand steps in a day. That's insane. Yeah, forty. That's just, insane. Yeah. So, what do you do as an official to continue to get better and then also keep up with all the adjustments and changes to rules and things like that? Uh, some of the rules uh, that they've done recently are, have just been great for the sport, and it's been a real easy adjustment. But we do spend a lot of time time for uh, meetings at least a year uh, with a local association, uh, talk with the guys when you're at a tournament, talking about situations, that all plays into making sure that everybody's making the same calls and the right calls all the time. How did you get into being an official? Uh, I was a stay-at-home dad for, for a long time and I needed something to break the monotony of staying at home and I loved wrestling when I was in high school. Uh, and it was an opportunity that I uh, sought highly, and I'm so glad that I did. This is my 16th season, and it's been a blast. So nice. What What's the course that that uh, somebody should take if they're interested in being an official? Uh, there's actually several spring courses coming up. Uh, one uh, that's in conjunction with the uh, Wrestling for Autism uh, event that they put on in Columbus. Uh, there are places you can go to contact. People look on the OHSAA uh, website, and there should be information on there. Usually the classes for officials are in the fall, and you just have to contact the local secretary and go on the OHSAA website to do that. What are your thoughts on why uh, Ohio is such a tough state, you know, such a great, great state at wrestling? Uh, we've got really passionate people from the top to the bottom. I'm uh, talking about new parents that really, they may not understand the sport, but they want to see their kids succeed. And we've got old time coaches that are, they just keep at it, even though their kids have been long gone. Mm -hmm. They just keep at it. And that is why this sport is so good and strong in Ohio. We have that consistency from the top to the bottom. Awesome. Jack, I appreciate your time. Thanks for putting energy into wrestling. Uh, we appreciate that too. You got anything else you want to share with no, us? Thanks a bunch, Joe. Have a good day.